Hello everyone, Konnichiwa. Welcome to this video, which is the fourth lesson of the basic Japanese series for beginners. You will learn vocabulary of a few objects and electronic items commonly present in a room. You will also learn about interrogative sentences in which an answer is to be chosen out of alternatives. And at the end, you will learn how to translate simple English sentences to Japanese. So please watch it till the end. If you have not watched the previous lessons, please watch them first and be thorough with the content presented in it. Let me begin with some objects which are commonly present in a room. The first one is tegami, which means letter. It is made of two characters, te, which means hand, and kami, which means paper. When they are combined, it is pronounced as tegami. Next is shimbun, which means newspaper. It is made of two characters, shin, which means new, and bun, which means to hear or to listen. Next is hon, which means book. Jisho means dictionary. No oto is the short form of notebook. And the last one is zashi, which means magazine or journal. Let me pronounce them once. Tegami, shimbun, hon, jisho, no oto, zashi. Next, let me go to some electronic items commonly present in a room. The first one is denwa, which means phone. Next is pasakon, which is the short form of personal computer. Next is eakon, which is a short form of air conditioner. Next is terebi, which is a short form of television. There are so many contracted words in Japanese. In fact, abbreviated and contracted words are a common feature. Long words are often contracted into shorter forms, which then become the predominant forms. I'll give you one more example. All of you must have used a remote to control your TV. In Japanese, remote control is called Rimokon. Next one is Kamera, which means camera. And the last one is Toke, which means clock or watch. Let me pronounce them once. Denwa, pasokon, eakon, terebi, kamera, toke. Next, let us learn about interrogative sentences in which an answer is to be chosen out of alternatives ending with ka. I'll give you an example. To ask if that is a book, in Japanese, the question will be, sore wa hon desu ka? To ask if that is a dictionary, the question will be, sore wa jisho desu ka? Now, to ask if that is a book, or a dictionary, I have to combine the two questions. So the new question will be, Sore wa hon desu ka? Jisho desu ka? There are two alternatives from which an answer has to be chosen. It has to be either a book or a dictionary. If it is a book, the answer will be hon desu. If it is a dictionary, the answer will be jisho desu. In answering this type of question, hai or ie is not used. And you have to choose from the alternatives only. Okay? Next, let us learn how to translate simple English sentences to Japanese. The first one is, I am Rao. I is Watashi. You have learned the particle wa, and you also know that the sentence has to end with this. So the translation will be, Watashi wa Rao this. Let us go to the next one. South Korean is Kankokujin. So the translation will be, Kim san wa Kankokujin this. Let us go to the next one. Student is Gakse. And also is mo. So the translation will be Suzuki san mo gakse des. Let us go to the next one. When asking someone's age, the interrogative nansai is used. If you want to be more polite, you should use the word oikutsu. So the translation will be Rao san wa oikutsu desu ka? Let us go to sentence number five. Here, 28 years old is mentioned, which is niju hassai. So the translation will be Rao san wa niju hassai desu. Next is sentence number six. Person is hito and that over there is ano. You have learnt that who is dare. So the translation will be ano hito wa dare desu ka? Next is number seven. What is nan and this is kore. So the translation will be kore wa nan desu ka? Next is sentence number eight. Whose is dare no? And this bag is kono kaban. So the translation will be kono kaban wa dare no desu ka? Next is sentence number nine. That is sore. Camera is kamera. Japan is nihon. And if we use the particle no to connect two nouns, camera and Japan, it will become nihon no kamera, which means camera belonging to Japan. That is camera from Japan or made in Japan. So the translation will be Sore wa nihon no kamera desu. Let us go to the last sentence. This phone is kono denwa. Mine is watashi no. And also is mo. So the translation will be kono denwa mo 
Watashi no desu. Please practice a couple of times and you will get the hang of it. So that is it for now. I hope this video was useful. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. And if you found the video good, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.